cool. Nice setup, man. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. So, today on Talks, we have Kalex. Is that how you pronounce it? Yes, sir. We have Kalex, and he's going to tell you a bit about what he does and who's, who he's about. And we also have Vesprey, who's been on here a numerous amount of times now. So, uh, yeah, kick it off. Who are you and who is Kalex? Um, so, presenter, radio presenter, radio broadcaster, um, content creator, um, entertainer, I guess. Um, so, my whole thing is I try to, I just love creating, innit? I always mm. love creating. Mm -hmm. Love creating content. And, I don't know, I used, I guess, in, uh, previously I used to be like, yeah, content creator. But I feel like nowadays, though, people have adopted that word, yeah, mm -hmm. and they they muddied the waters a bit. Mm -hmm. Like they like so for some people, content creation is taking a picture and adding a filter to it. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like we like I see influencers on Instagram, and yeah, content creator. But for me, the content creator is the person that's taking the photo that is added whatever highlights and that has cropped it, or the person that's done the video and edited it. For me, those are the content creators, like mm. not the people on camera. For me, if you can, it's techy, innit? Because if you can take a, if you take a picture, cool, you've created content in it, mm -hmm. technically. You know, technically, you know what mm -hmm. I mean, bro? Mm -hmm. But there's levels to it, mm -hmm. where it's like, if you're in a room with content creators, mm -hmm. what, do, what, what do you do? Oh yeah, I edit videos, I shoot videos, director, videography, mm -hmm. da, da, da. What do you do? Oh yeah, I, I create graphics, animation, da, 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 da. What do you do? Oh, I get my phone and I take selfies and I add the filters. Mm -hmm. Like, it's a different conversation, that's, isn't it? That's like, like, all the like, artists artist stuff. That's an interesting one. Yeah. <laughs> that's actually an interesting um, question. You know what I mean? We're, we're going to get into that. So, content creation, but then there's content creation, isn't it? So what is mean? content creation, I think, is maybe where we'll start. For me, content finish. creation, yeah, is... But quickly, just before we yeah. get into that, people, obviously, I know what you do. Yeah. I know the brands you work with. Yeah. Who do you work with? What do you do with these brands? Just let everyone right, know course, so yeah, that yeah, yeah, we know yeah. exactly who you are. So, um, how we met, I was um, doing some presenter work, and I guess camera work as well, for uh, SBTV. Uh, been there now. Who? Uh, so maybe come, maybe come, maybe two, two years, year and a half. Mm -hmm. I'm messing with them. Um, Just I'm, messing. Yeah. Well, yeah, what, yeah. What, what do you do with them? Like, what's your? Yeah. Your so role? when I first started with them, it was just like um, I first started with them. Um, I did BBC One Extra Live in no, I didn't do that. Before I done that, I went. I done Leeds Fest. Okay. Just went to, yeah, just went to Leeds first, mm -hmm. uh, done some interviews, mm -hmm. uh, blogged on the, on the socials, and mm -hmm. I'd be right. I didn't really think nothing of it, innit? Thought mm -hmm. cool, do it. And then um, got hollered from them, and probably about a month after, was like, yeah, we we like what you did there, mm -hmm. type thing, innit? I'm thinking, for me, it was like, well, I just, I just went there. That's what, that's what I do. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, no, it wasn't really, you know yeah. what I mean? So, yeah, come back, blah, blah, blah. Um, tired having talks and. Um, yeah, we want to get you on board in some mm. kind of fashion, innit? And then I think it's that the uh, Leeds Fest was in July, mm -hmm. and then I did BBC One Extra Live, it was in the O2. Mm -hmm. um, went there, did some interviews and stuff, and then yeah, they liked that as well, mm -hmm. be covering that and stuff like that. So it was really on a, on a sort of like, yo, a part time freelancey, do you want to do this bit, do mm -hmm. bits and bobs in it? Mm -hmm. um, and what I noticed with them, I felt like they could have been doing a lot more. Mm. A lot more, a lot more. So I was pushing to like, yo, let me be more of a full-time, let's like, mm. you know, I've got mm. ideas, blah, 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 blah. Mm. And it took a while, like, I was like, pretty much getting ghosted, mm. pretty much, bro. Like, it wasn't like, wasn't getting no replies, blah, blah, blah. Mm. And That's then, the yeah, it's, it's tr Ooh, true, bro. And then, um, when they did get back to me, mm. It was like, yeah, let's have a meeting, da, 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 da. Mm. we have a meeting, but then it wouldn't really progress to anything. Mm. Just bare meetings of, yeah, good talks, but... Like ideas. Yeah. And it's just like, okay, cool. Yeah. Like, it yeah. never comes to fruition. I'm, I'm, yeah. sure, I'm sure we'll do that one time you know what in, mean? in the future. <laughs> yeah, I know how it goes. You know what I mean? So, um, but me, I was just, just persistent, but I'm like, yo, boom, this, boom, this, persistent, persistent, persistent. Mm. 
and then an opportunity came up where they needed a sort of like a social media manager type mm-hmm. of thing because um, I was working for O2 mm. and I was like okay boom let's get you on board for this because then we can pay you to do this mm. so but now you're here you can now do other stuff easier. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean yeah. so on paper head of social media on paper mm. um, but Really, it is that, but really, it's more like like the presenter stuff with me. That's me, and mm. you know, at my heart is mm. presenting in it, presenting and. I guess so you're basically representing them on social media. Yeah, so mm. if so, like the Instagram, the Twitter, the YouTube, if it goes up, ninety nine times out of ten, it's come from me. And I put it up. Mm. Um, so I was doing that, and again, there was just like they like how I did it, mm. and uh, the work work I was doing in it. Mm. So. I kind of put myself in a position, and it's what I always do when I get into some in situation. I put myself in a position where I'm, I'm valuable. Yes. To the point where, yeah, they can get rid of me whenever they like. But there's something. But I'm taking something with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I'm yeah. taking something with me. Yeah. So I put myself in a position where, like, uh, like they value me being there, mm. and they know why I add and what I bring, mm. and. Replacing me isn't just a flick of the switch or mm. a personnel switch. Mm. It's like, okay, you bring someone else in, but you're going to have to slow the car down mm. a few miles mm. before you're ready to get back to this gear again. Like, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean, bro? So it's like, because of that, it's like, you know, when you get into that situation, yeah. it's easier just to keep you. Yeah. Yeah. To get rid of you. You're an yeah. integral part of yeah. the process. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So many things so, that. But what made you become that person? Because there's going to be people watching mm. that hear what you're saying about becoming an you know was it indisposable person yeah 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 yeah. yeah. and they're thinking in their creative field or in their job role and their business or in their you know field whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. they're thinking how can i bring something that's indispensable something that without me being there won't be there what you do is bro you have to do you have to do the most you have <laughs> that's, to a, do, that's what was in my head the you most have to listen, bro. you have Trust. to do you yeah. have to do things yeah. that are not in your job description. Yeah. Because when you start doing things that are not mm. in your job description mm. and you keep doing it, mm. like to everyone else, it becomes normal. Mm. Like they feel like you should be doing that. Mm. But really, you shouldn't be doing it, but you're doing it anyway. So you filled a role or, or, or a task or a spot, you filled it, it's it become yours mm. to the point where. It gets to a point where people, people then, will then clock on, wait, he's been doing this for time. Mm. He was he was supposed to be doing that. We need mm. to do that. Mm. Someone else should be doing that, mm. or we should be hiring someone else to be doing that. Mm. But because he's doing it and he's doing it well, yeah, we're gonna leave him to do it. But that's kind of their mistake now. But would you even say that's a mistake? Because would aren't like companies looking for people that are like that? People that triple their value. Yeah. So, com- So. If a company can find one person that can do three jobs, mm. then they're buzzing because then mm. they're going to pay that one person to do three mm. jobs. Yeah. But really, there should be individual people doing those jobs. Mm. But the downside to that is now, when that person goes, you've got three roles that are open now. Mm. Where you've got you to pay the actual money, money now. Yeah. Even though you're used to exactly. paying one salary yeah, exactly. to get it done. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, with... Uh, coming at SPTV, mm. I know how valuable SPTV is to the scene. And you may not see that right now, mm. where you've got your link up to GRMs that may be like pushing ahead and stuff mm. like that. I think, we, I think that's an important discussion which we'll talk about after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's it's still it's still invaluable and it's it's still got a place. And I, and everyone like it's 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 not I say it's a race but it's an ongoing race where uh, it's a marathon. Yeah. It's so not just a who, 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 whoever was first now, maybe in five years they will, will be second or mm-hmm. be third. So it's like just a race, isn't it? You never, you never drop out of the race. You just your position kind of varies mm-hmm. where you go, in it. Mm-hmm. So another company like that, it's good to be sort of have a company or have people sort of like indebted to you, mm. where they owe you. Like yo, you're doing the most for us right now, we appreciate it. Mm. We're gonna hold you down type thing, like you're doing, they, so I'm in a position where I wouldn't say like, they owe me like blood, yeah, and stuff course. like that, yeah. but like, it's appreciation, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's appreciation, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, just... 
Yeah, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if then what? Owe me this. If then what? Like, um, so like, it was like, like, you know, like last month, like, um, yeah. Jamal was like, yeah, bro. What you be doing? Like, yo, we appreciate what mm-hmm. you're doing, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. you, we we know what you're doing. Yeah. We understand what you're doing. We appreciate you're running around doing doing things by yourself, bro, blah, blah blah. Just know that yo, we see what you're doing. Cool, it? See, I know quite a few mm. of you guys that deal with that. Jerem Link, yeah, obviously, yeah. now it's TV. How do you find that? Because um, you know how artists are very proud of their work mm. and sometimes expect to have their work on, you know, mm. on the channel. And for you as the sometimes, what do you call it, the adjudicator, the, yeah. the person that's reviewing it, what goes through your mind? And because there's artists that are going to be watching this that are thinking, what is the criterion to yeah. be accepted? And, you know, so try to explain it to in, them. In, in all way. honesty, I wish there was a a troubleshoot list I can go to and say, it's got to match this, 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 and we'll put it up. But really, it's really just subjective. Yeah. Like... If you feel like it. Like, so, we, so like, it's not if I feel like it. Because mm. I, just to protect me, mm. it's not if I feel like it. Mm. So if a special comes through... I'm like, yo, Jamal and the rest of the team, yo, what do we feel about this? Mm. And then we come to a con- uh, consensus, blah, blah, blah. Yes, no, boom. Mm. I wouldn't want it. And people think, some people think it's just me. Mm. But to protect myself, I want it largely to be just me. I don't want to be the judge, jury, yeah, executioner yeah. of what goes up and what doesn't yeah, go up yeah, because, yeah. again, I'm trying to be about. Yeah, so I don't want to yeah. tell a man no yeah. and then catch me at award party. Yeah. Yo, that's the guy that said yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Problems, you know what I mean, bro? Oh, yeah. yo, pick my shit up while I'm at your front door, or yeah, yeah. you know what I mean, you're bro? You're allowed to do that. You have to kind of separate from it because you can't be the per- the same person that they yeah. talk to first. Shouldn't be the same person that has to say yes or no. Yeah, yeah exactly. Otherwise, it's, it's too personal. Yeah. And you know what? Like even with what we got an exclusive seated and heated, I was even literally trying to think about that a way to detach myself. From yeah, that. yeah, man. So Thank I came you, up bro. with them just putting their comment on the post and getting their friends to engage in it. Yeah. Depending on how many friends engage in it, that's going to be the first level of if we're going to look at you. Mm. And then obviously I'm going to ask people around the business if we feel like this is a good representation of what mm. you do on the channel. You're right, bro. It's You're quite, right, bro. It's quite interesting. So how, how do they... Um because do you guys then consider like every email that would come through or is it a thing where it's like you've pre-listened to it and like, yo, these ones are worth... So it's like... Hearing... So I, I only get the trickle down. So I only get what gets sent to me. Mm. So the SBTV email, so the, the info SBTV mm. and submission SBTV, mm. I don't have access to that account. Mm. So Jamal and whoever it may be that does, mm. whenever someone comes through and it looks like I should be taken, boom, they forward it. Mm. So I tell people all the time, yo, I only can look at what I get. Mm. So if you're emailing info SBTV or submission SBTV, don't think it's me. Trust mm. me, I would love to have the keys to that. Mm. You know what I mean, bro? But I don't have the keys to it. Mm. So it's whatever they have, they find time to forward to me. So it's, mm. it, it, it's not every single, it, it, I know 100% it's not every single submission email that we get mm. that mm. gets looked at. Mm. But it should though. I, I should. Mm. And I, know you, I, know, I know. I know. I know. You, I know. In reality, you can't every. Mm. But I will be honest to say that more should be looked at, mm. looked at. You know what I mean, bro? But when the team is so small right now, it's kind of hard it's for, to, to do it. it. You know yeah, what I mean, bro? Course. So I would love to have the keys to that, but then like, I guess like the keys too big. It's like the, the, the info SPTV is the main email mm. so someone like me shouldn't have yeah because there's other stuff that's not something exactly well. yeah. I like, you know what i mean it's a we, business you know yeah, I mean? yeah 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 i swear we were talking about quality control in one of these episodes and it's similar to, to that um if the more levels there are the more funnels that means that at the end the more refined the product yeah will be yeah at the end, and it's just the way that it goes and you know what bro the quality control with sptv is it's a gift and a curse. Mm. So the gift is that, like, if we're uploading something, there's quality to it. Mm. The downside is... It's maybe not be as much. Yeah. Mm. And, like, where we're just, like... With Jamal, Jamal is just a... He's a righteous guy, man. Mm. Like, he's just, like, kind-hearted, bro, good-spirited, bro. So he don't ever want to 
charge for uploads. Mm. He doesn't feel like someone who's talented mm. should be blocked because of money. Mm. Because, and I keep saying, yo, we need to push that message out, out there. Yeah, I can't lie, that's like... You know what I mean, bro? That's the first thing. Think, really think about, bro, think about a 13-year-old boy that's mm. sick at music but can't get uploads or whatever or exposure because he hasn't got the money. Mm. I need the money, I need the money. Mm. Where is that 13-year-old going to go get the money from? Mm. Indirectly, he's doing something crazy, mm. whether it's stealing from mum or doing crime, to get that money to then be uploaded. So in a way, not directly, but we're kind of contributing to madnesses, isn't it? Mm. Someone's going to go and do madness for mm. that £500 to get an upload on a video. Mm. Whereas it should be, if you're talented, there should be no barrier, there should be money. Mm. You're talented. There's already in life many barriers that money thingy. Mm. Talent that's like grassroots on the ground shouldn't be prohibited from being shared with the world because of money. I feel that's I feel that's very, very insightful to mm. um to know. Yeah, yeah. Because with most like urban, how do you call them? Digital outlets, mm. them urban platforms for upcoming urban art yeah, acts yeah, yeah. and artists it's not about the artists exactly really you know what bro and it's like it's about the money if you like and i'm not even knocking other platforms yeah no it's, it's just the, it's, a, it's, just it's, the a, it's a blueprint that sometimes i wish we had i wish we charged for uploads yeah no but it's, it's a revenue stream that we're not even mm. accessing bro mm. think about like you charge i, I don't even know what the going rate what's, what's the going rate that's upload so i feel like 300 300 ish yeah so let's say boom you pay three hundred pound. You pay me three hundred pound to upload your video. Mm. So I'm, boom, I'm up three hundred. Mm. If if it gets ten thousand views, cool, no worries. Mm. Not that much on ads, mm. but I've got your three hundred and whatever little change that makes. Mm. If it does a milli, mm. I've got your three hundred. The money that the milli makes on views, mm. and then what do you get as a reward? Mm. A plaque that cost me what to make. But I, f- I feel like one of the big- was gonna pop up get- yeah, cool. I feel like one of the issues with it is that like if if there was more information about how to release music mm. and make sure that all your monetization was sorted, so yeah, yeah, yeah. these people were a bit more clued up about needing to have PRS, PPO mm, and mm, mm. distribute in the correct way and make sure that they're collecting your revenue because now on YouTube, if you've got it registered properly, yeah, yeah. you can get the ad money. Exactly. You can, But then you yeah, go yeah, through these yeah. channels like GRM, so you pay to put the upload yeah, yeah. and because they haven't done it properly, there's no claim on it. Yeah, and so yeah, yeah, yeah. then the, all the money's being pocketed. So it's like, we don't, it, it's, it's almost like, it's not robbery, yeah? But it don't sit right, okay, you, you've really lost, before you've even uploaded it, before it's even been successful, you're down a few hundred pounds. Mm. And then it blows up, you get a million views, two million views, there, the channel gets money, so they're now up more money on top of your 300, and then what's your reward for all you've done? Yeah, you've got the views and the exposure, maybe, but then, like, you're still down. Mm. You're, really still, you're really still down. Now... If I take three hundred pounds of ten people in a day, that's three thousand pounds. If those f- ten videos do ten thousand views in a day each, I've made a hundred thousand views For in a channel. day. Yeah, and I pocketed that. So now that's why some of these channels there's no quality control. It's take the money and just fling it up mm. because the the small videos that get 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 all add up to 100,000. Yeah, for them. For them. Yeah. And then the money, and again, bro, it's 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 Robin Hood shit, bro. It's like take from the poor to get to the rich, though. Yeah. Because <laughs> the money I now make from your 300 20 times in a day, and the views that I make from the videos that only do 10,000 20 times a day. I'm gonna use now that money to call the bigger artist Joe. I've got a budget for your video. Come and do, mm. boom, boom, boom. And do the do the gold um, the gold exactly. Ones, yeah. So it's like you're taken from the poor to give to the rich, yeah. but in music and in business, that's what it is, though, isn't it? It is what it is. You haven't robbed a few hundred from them. They've given they it, get to it willingly. Them, yeah, you know what I mean. But it's not really been funded back. So maybe a good solution would be because because I know that they do that with the gold mm. with the gold things where they pay for the videos. 
Like, mm. and, and so the big artists aren't paying anything, but the small artists are paying. Mm -hmm. Even if they continue to charge, but then with the money, instead of just giving the big artists the free videos, that's where they could find those, you know, the 13 year old who's sick that they found. Yeah. Off of my <clears throat> man a video, yeah. done it free. But with SB, we're like, yo, you're sick. I'm not gonna take money from you. We're gonna push you. Yo, mm. you're sick. And then all we, so, all we say is like, yo, um, take off the copyright from the vid mm. so we can monetize your vid and we'll pocket that. So if you oh, only so make- what do you mean the copyright off the vid now? So it's your song, innit? So off the song or the video? So the, so it's, the, so it's the, it's the music in the, in the video, video, innit? So, if, if it, so can you just explain that? Cause some artists are going to be thinking of ways to do this. So just, can you yeah. just explain So when you, when you make a song, it's yours, innit? You get it copyrighted, it's yours, innit? So wherever it gets played- How do you copyright it? Um, those details, I'm not quite sure. Well, it's content ID. Yeah. So the, the system on YouTube is called content ID. Mm. Yeah. So it, when you choose your distribution, that's something you have to yeah. be careful of. So a lot of the uh, major distributors, let's say, who do people use? Like DistroKid. Mm. Yeah. When you like Loto. Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head yeah. whether, whether they offer it or not. But like, say, say DistroKid versus someone like CD Baby or mm -hmm. TuneCore, they've got an option for something called Pro, um, like Pro Admin. Okay. Or whatever. In fact, CD Baby, I think, is even comes with it. Mm -hmm. So what they'll do is they've got their own systems mm -hmm. that go and look through the YouTube videos or whatever, mm -hmm. and it automatically makes a, co uh, a copyright claim. Mm -hmm. So you know when you click the description on a video, yeah, yeah. and at the bottom it's got a link to the actual yeah. song? Yeah. Once you've seen that, that means that it's claimed. So yeah, now yeah. all the ad money from the video goes to the song. It doesn't yeah. go to the YouTube channel. Yeah, exactly. Right, and that's how you get it. So you see, like on GRM, that's what yeah. I was just saying. Mm. When you click them, nine out of ten times, there's no claim. So the person who made the track ain't getting no exactly. no uh... piece for it. The, the YouTube page. Whereas when you see it, mm. the artist is getting the piece. So what they're saying is, you can choose to turn that off. You can yeah. choose not to claim it. Yeah, exactly. You get I me? Mean? So we're like, okay, so, yeah. let us claim off of the 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 upload oh, on the video, right? Mm. So. Cause, uh, Cause it's still a business like We're still yeah, giving you exposure. Yeah. 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 We're giving you exposure for free. Yeah, so I mean, that's not a huge amount. Of money exactly, anyway. exactly. Yeah, yeah, so let money. us just pocket a little drink money yeah. from the video. Yeah, and the Pepsi Max. Money. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. and platform, here yeah. you go. One point one million subscribers have your exposure. Yeah, and that's and that's really why you're talking about the ten years that SBTV has been in the game. Mm. Or maybe more than ten years now. Mm. Must be more. If you generate. If you add up all the platforms and how many artists that SBTV have found mm. and push compared to others, mm. the numbers are unmatched, bro. Mm. So it's only now where it's like, yeah. right now the game is, the game is not, it's a numbers game right now. It's, it's a money. It's more. It's, more, more, it's, it's not quality, money. it's more. Yeah. So because other channels are putting out 15 videos a day, mm. they're active, mm. active, active, active. Whereas we're not meeting those numbers because we're doing more stop and check and quality wise, mm. we look deader. Mm. You know what I mean, bro? So if so you you seen fifteen videos go up, mm. and you're like, okay, that's the most active channel, blah blah blah. Let me upload it, upload it, upload it, upload it. You know what I mean, bro? Mm. But it's them ones where like, it gets a gift and a curse because where we're saying okay, it's more quality control when we upload. Mm. There may be times when we can't upload, we don't like the video. Mm. So there may be a time, a, a day, where we don't upload nothing in a day, when other channels have uploaded 10, 15 videos. Mm. You know what I mean, bro? So people are like, okay, I would rather pay the few hundred pound, cause I know I'm gonna certainly get an upload. Mm. Whether it's good or bad, I'm gonna get the upload because it's mm. 300 pounds. So mm. what we need to do, what I think to do, mm. is go up to a stage where it's like, be a bit more transparent. Mm. Like, yo, we'll, we're taking submissions, we're gonna go through them, and if it's good, it will go up. Instead mm. of like, chucking an email, mm. and you don't know if it's gonna go up or not. Cause, a surety is a, is a bit more, and if you're paying 300 pounds for a surety that your video's gonna go up, mm. you're more likely you're gonna do it, then okay, let me just send an email, cause it's free, and but wait. it may or may yeah. not. And these days, when people come to music, people don't really wanna wait. Mm. It's like, no, I want my career to bust. I'm not going to wait for a reply for an email mm. for a maybe even a no. I'm going to wait for a while and mm. maybe never get any, even get a no at the end of that. You know what I mean, bro? So I'm going to pay my few hundred pounds and get the upload. You know what I mean, bro? Mm. So it's a gift. And when it comes to quality control, bro, there's a gift and, and a curse, bro. And the thing is, bro, there is more 
was more trash out there than quality. Mm. So when people were emailing us, bro, it's like, okay, it's, it's not good enough, not good enough, not good enough. Mm. We need the quality. And when we find the quality, we put it up. Mm. Whereas channels that are just there for the money, not doing the quality control, mm. good or bad, we're going to throw it up there because we really pocketed £300 before we even put it up there. Yeah. If it mm. does bits and bobs at view-wise, cool. If it does the millies, cool. Mm. How do we reward you? Here's a plaque that says made in China that costs 20 quid to make. Mm. You know what I mean, bro? But not, I don't want to tell it as I'm disrespecting other channels because no, but I know what exactly the, money, the, money, the money they generate by doing that, <clears throat> they're balling. Mm. Even with bro, SBTV, bro, we get emails all the time. How, and we've never ever charged for uploads mm. in the history of SBTV. But do you, not think, do you not think it might be a viable way to get the best of both worlds? Like, so, see, even some of the bigger artists that go on SBTV, yeah. when you know for a fact they don't need a free upload. Mm-hmm. Like, pe- people are out there spending a lot of money on their careers. Mm. Would it not be viable to, like, charge them so that then you can fulfil the mission more of going to find the people who genuinely can't afford it but need to be put out? So it's like... Right now, the bigger artists, to an extent, bro, they don't even need the platforms as much as they did before. A lot of artists now have their own YouTube channels that are just putting up things on. Mm. And mm. also, where you got channels uh, for you, like your GRMs and your link up, mm. that would give those bigger artists the platform for free, uh, for us to come and say, yeah, we're going to charge you money for your uploads so you can give back to the poor mm. then you're like well i'm gonna go to this platform where they're giving up back to the rich you know what like, I, mean, like, I feel like Karen, i feel like there's uh, a lot a lot of people that might accept that though like some of it, it because it would make the mission so clear as i like mm. right we really want to be able to push people that there's too much of a barrier for them mm. to get on the other big platforms yeah yeah i feel like there's a lot of big artists that would be happy to go with that cool i, I can afford to pay it let me pay my two bills. I know. So. 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 When nah. it comes, when you, when, yeah. you, when you talk about my career, why do I care yeah. that little Timmy from Ipswich yeah. can't get uploaded on he, JRM? He's thinking I had to pay. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's you char- have to pay yeah, to it's, get it's, it's, it's a charity. This is you know me, bro. Be the man that I am, the yeah, artist bro. that I am. What I'm bro? You. Listen, bro. No way. In a perfect yeah. world, bro, <laughs> that is sick. In a perfect world where the scene is thriving. That is sick. Mm. Yo, I'm mm. I'm Skepta. Let me help the youngers. Yeah. I'm Maybe gonna pay. That size, though. That's a that's that's a up up up. Yeah, up, but up. even still, but I'm, I'm talking like people that can. What AJ or n- um, not people? Big that, these are all household names, though. I mean, it doesn't need to be household. There's a lot of artists that have money. People that have peas mm. that would pay when there's a good thing going on. Do you get me? Like, there's a lot of organisations that deal with young people Ooh. and doing things for young people, and people fund them. What about, they get funded. So, what, what, what about this then? What about if there was a framework that could be created that people that are interested in these platforms yeah. pay a monthly subscription towards uh, the platform? Mm. But here's the thing with money, um, yeah? Yeah, go on. And why we, we don't do the other thing for money? Not for uploads, though. I'm just talking about the brand, having access to the brand. In what way access, though? So, to the new uploads, to the new talent, to maybe um, some of the things that SPTV might offer. Like extra content. Like extra content. Mm, like a Patreon. Like that's a, that's okay. what YouTube people are doing, isn't it? It's like, if you like the channel, you want us to be able to continue You get the to extra create. content if you pay, right? You mm. give us, yeah, you give us a little money, mm. and it allows us to do more things. Because yeah. I'm thinking about loads of YouTube channels that I watch, not mm. music-related, though. Yeah, yeah. But, like, <clears throat> just pick an example. There's one called Smarter Every Day, mm. yeah? And it's like a dad who goes and he learns mm. mad stuff, right? Mm-hmm. And they've got a Patreon. You can start from a pound a month and it goes all the way mm, up. Mm. And that's how they fund it. You, they, it gets charged per video and mm. that's how they fund the video. So then they've been able to buy, you know, for example, they bought a super slow-mo camera mm. with that money, mm. which allows them to make better videos. Mm, mm. And people love it because then you're part of a community. So now, we're, so in this example, it's mm. like, imagine if there's a bunch of people paying five pound, whatever they can afford. Mm. But now every time when the upload goes up and it's this sick 12-year-old that we found or this sick... 18 year old who yeah. had no peas or whatever mm, yeah. they feel like well yeah I helped to discover that mm, yeah. like, there's a sense of pride involved that and I feel we, like could push that and what I think a benefit of something like that brings is you bring basically an audience that are invested mm. in that platform yeah. more because aren't you finding now even when like you know the channels get views but you're, you're, you're not getting necessarily the the really, you're just getting the kind of trolls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I feel like maybe a system like this may introduce a level of um, clientele or audience mm. who actually have a genuine interest in the brand. It's just a no. Just a no, you're right. Jamal is SB. Mm. He is Smokey Bar. Smokey Bar TV. He is. He was. He is Smokey Bar. Mm. So it's all going to be linked to him. Mm. Whereas 
you think GRM, you don't think Posty. Because Posty's name is Posty, it's not Posty isn't GRM. Mm. Rashid is Rashid, he's not Link Up TV. They're the owners of it, but they're not, it's not attached to them. 